Hello, welcome to part five. Um, in the last three parts, we talked about the first three generations of Pokemon. And now today, in this in this part, which is obviously today's video that they've just been uploaded. Um, for context, if you totally forgot about the date for the last couple of parts, uh, these were recorded on May 1st of 2022. It's gonna be May. <laughs> I'm gonna keep making that. I've been making that joke all day, like in the counter day of today. <laughs> like it's unreal. But um, uh, the generation we're talking about in this part, we're talking about some good old fashioned Gen Four. How many games were there for Gen 4? Well, there are five. Once again. <laughs> but, um... This is the one generation I think that everyone played the most of. Because the main thing that they introduced was the, uh... Was the, uh... Was the uh, global, like, trading system. The GTS, that's, that's, yeah, that's, yeah, because prior, you had to, you had to be locally, and you have to do things through a wire, which was annoying. Everyone had a copy of the games back in the day, but never had a link cable. When bam, 2007, 2006, 2007 rolls around, Nintendo DS is just freshly brand new. And everything's wirelessly. Oh, technology's starting to advance a little bit more. Uh, this is the first Pokemon generation to which uh, the game is now being focused on two screens. Which, you know, it's nice. Although it, it slowly took me a while for me to get used to it when I was playing Gen 4, but that's besides the point. Um, this is the generation in which uh, trainers can be animated. Uh, there's also a whole bunch of other firsts for this generation, but there's just so many to list for Gen 4. Like, I would have to make a whole separate video on that. <laughs> but, um, the main thing about gen 4 that i have to say is that it was a generation that was that was highly praised for the longest time up until the next generation and probably and probably even further than uh, gen 6 because almost everybody played gen 4 Alright, so there are five games. Two of them are, once again, remakes of a previous game. What game is it? We'll, we'll get to that in just a, just a moment. Okay, so I'm just, I'm just thinking that. Uh, Uh, let's see here. So, the main, uh, Sinnoh games, because that's the, that's the reason for Gen 4. Uh, is, uh, Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum. Oh, Mom's home now. She must have recently just got home or something. Uh, 
Okay, I don't see the dog out, so she didn't take. The, she hasn't taken the dog out. Oh Christ! The hell was that? <laughs> like popping, like someone's capping someone's ass. Uh. God, let me think here. Uh. So yeah, those are the Sinnoh games, Diamond Pro and Platinum. And the remakes are Heart Gold and Soul Silver. Yep, it's a remix of Johto. Which means, yes, at the very end, you can still go back to the end, <laughs> end of the game and go back to Kanto. Which is the fourth time that Kanto has been seen in a generation. <laughs> Gens 1 through 4. Kanto. They just can't get enough of Kanto. Back to the roots. Alright, so Diamond Pearl and Platinum. Let's talk about those first. Now, anyone that has ever played Gen 4 will always tell you that if you want a good definitive Gen 4 experience, play Platinum. There's just a lot more stuff to do. The the Sinnoh region Pokedex is a lot more updated than it is than it is in Diamond and Pearl. Because, get this. If you didn't pick Chimchar as your starter in Diamond and Pearl, the only fire type that you could ever have is Ponyta and Rapidash during the main story. Yeah, that's dumb. And they fixed that tremendously in Platinum. It was just so stupid that they did that. <laughs> like, obnoxiously stupid that they did that. So what uh, Gen 4 game did I play? Well, I was a dumbass and I got Diamond. I remember when I got Diamond. It was Christmas of 2015 when I got the game. And I played the hell out of it. And hell, to this day, my current save file with it being almost seven years old now, has never changed. I've never started another save file on Diamond. And to this day, it stands as the only Pokemon game that I have spent the most time on. Like in one save file. And it transpounds almost seven years. That's crazy. <laughs> but yeah, if you want a good definitive Gen 4 experience of a Sinnoh game, play Platinum. Don't play Diamond and Pearl. But I was a lug nut. Because I was like, you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get Diamond for Christmas. And then whenever I get the money, I'm going to get Platinum. I'm going to get Platinum. If I don't like diamond. I should have gotten di uh, platinum. Because. Goddamn. Everyone just loved platinum a lot more. Than diamond and pearl. I mean diamond and pearl were great. But it just, it was just a lot of things that were just a lot better in Platinum than Diamond and Pearl. Um, 
let's see here. Uh, oh yeah, the remakes. Uh, let's see here. The remakes were obviously Heart Gold and Soul Silver. Um, um, I personally do not have a physical copy of the game. Uh, I also forgot to mention in the Gen 2 part that I actually have a physical copy of Crystal. But uh, yeah, and same thing with uh, in the last part. I used to have a physical copy of Leaf Green, but uh, <laughs> I sold it. I think I sold it for like 20 bucks. But that was a long time ago. Anyways, I ha don't have a physical copy of Heart Gold and Soul Sober. So which one do I have? I have Heart Gold. <laughs> Thanks to... Uh, I have it on my 3DS. Because I guess I can illegally, like, download it and play it. Which is nice. Okay. That's the end of talking about gen 4 uh next part we're gonna talk about gen 5 so we'll see you in a little bit